guys and welcome to this video um, now the purpose of today's video is going over advanced purchase orders within Deer Systems now as you can see on my screen here I'm currently in our Bluehub test account on the dashboard and in order to create an advanced sale there are actually two ways of doing this um, you can convert a simple sale that you already have or you can just create one from scratch uh, for this demonstration I'm just going to create one from scratch so in order to do this we're just going to click the purchase tab and then click advanced purchase on this new tab here and as you can see we now have a completely new draft uh, purchase order and I'm just going to quickly select one of our suppliers here for this example we're going to use Bayside Club I'm going to put in a required by date and then the main difference with um, advanced purchase orders to simple purchase orders is that an advanced purchase order actually allows you to have multiple invoicing and receiving stages. So in order to demonstrate that, I'm just going to put a product here in our line items. Uh, we're going to use this paint one here. And then I'm just going to buy a quantity of 40. And then I'm going to select a different product here with a quantity of uh, 35 and we're going to give these prices and then now that I've done that and uh, put my line items in here that I want to buy I'm going to authorize this part of the purchase order and now that that's authorized as you can see here on the left side of the screen we have an I and R stage. Now all we need to do is click a plus on the invoicing and receiving stage and that's going to add a new invoice and stock receiving stage. Now you can choose uh, which one uh, you fulfill first so either you receive the stock first or you get the invoice first. For this example we're going to receive the invoice first. So I'm just going to write in the invoice number of the invoice we received from our supplier I'm going to copy the remaining from the order and we're just going to say that for this particular invoice we've been invoiced for 20 of this item and 10 of this item and then I'm going to authorize this invoice. Now that, they, now that we've authorized this invoice we can then click into the add the stock receiving stage and then we're going to copy it from that invoice and as you can see here, it's already pre-filled in that the quantity that we're going to receive for this particular invoice is 20 of this item and 10 of the other. And once that's uh, once we're happy with that, we can authorize this stage too. Now, as you can see, even though we've received some of the stock and some of the invoice, and we've received an invoice, uh, the purchase order is still in the receiving stage. Now that is because we still have outstanding uh, items to receive from our supplier for this particular PO. So in order to receive in the rest of these, we're just going to click to add a second invoicing and receiving stage. And from here, we can add our second invoice. So again, just add in the invoice number that you've received from your supplier. And here we can click copy remaining from order. And then it's pulled through the remaining that we are left to receive from the purchase order which is 20 and 25. Now you can um, have even more invoicing, invoicing and receiving stages if needed. Um, I don't think there is a limit of how many invoicing and re uh, receiving stages you can have. But for this example, we're just going to keep it to two. So all I'm going to do now that I'm happy with this invoice is authorize it. And again, we're going to add the stock receiving stage, copy it from the invoice, and authorize that too. Now once we're happy with this order that we've received everything we just want to click this drop down here next to the PO number and mark the entire order as received. And that essentially completes the purchase order within the system. You've received all your stock and you have everything. However like any other purchase uh, um, in the system you can uh, do a credit note and attach files to this purchase order if needed. And that about covers it for advanced purchases. Um, if you have any questions on this video, 
let us know down in the comments. And we also have another video on advanced sales orders. So if you want to know about those, uh, go check out that video. Thanks for watching, guys.